Hello everybody! Today we'll discuss the most widespread errors people encounter when installing Windows 11. What kind of errors you may face, why they occur, and how to fix them. During installation of any operating system, you may encounter a number of various errors, but we are going to focus on the ones that are especially relevant for Windows 11. There are a multitude of things that may cause an error when installing Windows 11, but quite a lot of widespread issues can be fixed with a few simple steps. But first of all, you need to make sure that your computer meets Windows 11 installation requirements, since errors related to Windows 11 installation requirements is the one that people encounter most often. The official requirements for this operating system include 8th generation Intel CPUs or newer, 4 GB of RAM, 46 GB of disk space, TPM version 2, UEFI, and Secure Boot. So, let's begin. To install Windows 11, you need 64GB of disk space or more. However, to download updates and use certain features, you may need some extra storage space. In our channel, you can find a video about clean installation of Windows. One of the trivial errors is low disk space. Windows 11 needs at least 46GB or more, so if you try to install the operating system on a partition smaller than that, you're going to get an error. Alright, so you start an installation of the operating system after choosing a disk for such installation, and you got an error. We couldn't create a new partition or locate an existing one when trying to install Windows. The reason why a new partition can't be created is the existing partition structure on your hard disk or SSD, and this is the problem that prevents the installer from creating the required system partitions. It occurs when you used to have another operating system installed on that partition before. It marks available partitions as System, Primary and MSR, which stands for Microsoft Reserved Partition. To fix this error, remove all devices from USB ports and repeat your attempt. Also, try removing the installation USB disk when you see this error, then plug it back and click Refresh. If it doesn't help, take the following steps, but remember that this method will erase all data on the disk. Click on any partition of the hard disk and click Delete. It would be better to remove all partitions from drive 0. After that, you'll see a warning that this partition might contain important files or applications. Click OK. Then right-click on the unallocated space and click Next. It starts the Windows installation process. Also, another variant is when the operating system is installed on a disk which was previously used to store data. That is, you'll need to shrink the volume and free up some space to create a system partition. In this case, go to the Setup menu, press the key shortcut Shift F10. In the command prompt, type the command disk part. Press Enter, type the command List Volume, add Select Volume and specify the volume. After that, type this command, exit the command prompt by typing the command exit. Close the command prompt. Now click Refresh in the Windows Setup window. Choose a partition, click Next. The installation of the operating system will continue, and the system partition will be created in the free space. The error? Windows cannot be installed to this disk. The selected disk is of the GPT partition style. In most cases, this error is caused by equipment incompatibility. One of the requirements for installation of Windows 11 is that your PC should boot in UEFI mode. All previous versions of the operating system didn't have such requirement. MBR partition style is an older one that has certain limitations. No more than four main partitions and the maximum disk size is only 2 terabytes. And it's only good for situations when you want to retain compatibility with older 32-bit operating systems. On the other hand, GPT is the new partition style that removes the above said limitations. To fix this error, you need to change the legacy mode to UEFI, and here is how you do it. Shut down the computer. When turning it on again, press the F2 or Delete key to access BIOS. However, the keys to access BIOS and specific BIOS menu items may differ depending on the manufacturer of your PC. Go to the Boot tab, select Boot mode and press Enter. Change the value from Legacy Support to UEFI. After that, press F10 to save and exit BIOS. The change from Legacy to UEFI may require you to change hard disk partition style from MBR to GPT. In this case, that's what you do. 
While you're still in the Windows Setup window, press the key shortcut Shift F10. After that, type disk port in the command prompt and press Enter. Follow it with the command List Disk. Select a disk for installation. To do it, use the command Select Disk and add the disk number. After that, type the command Clean to erase everything from the disk. Next, convert the disk with the command Convert GPT. And finally, type Exit. Now you can continue with the installation of the operating system. Sometimes your computer displays an error saying that Windows cannot install required files with the error code 0x800725D. And to fix it, remove all additional media like pen drives and external hard disks. Make sure that the disk you want to use for installation of the operating system has enough free space. If the disk lacks free space, the installer will warn you about it. To fix the problem, you have to format the partition. Or even better, remove all partitions and it will erase all the data. After that, you can just continue with the installation. However, we'll do it with the help of the command prompt. Go one step back and press the key shortcut Shift F10. Type the command disk part. Follow it with List Disk to learn the number of your specific disk. After that, type Select Disk and add the disk number. Finally, type Clean. Leave the command prompt by typing the command Exit. Go back to the installation and click Next. After all these actions, the installation should go properly. Sometimes this error can be caused by the image of the operating system. And that is why we strongly recommend downloading such images from the Microsoft official website only. Also, you can try recording the image to another pen drive. If this error occurs when you use an installation pen drive, you can try using a USB version 2 port instead of USB version 3 port or vice versa. And what if you encounter an error when Windows can't find any drives during the installation? Most of the time, it occurs with the latest generation of Intel CPUs. To fix it, you need to install Intel Rapid Storage Technology Driver and will do it during the installation of Windows 11. Download the driver for your module. I will give all the links in the description below. After the drivers are downloaded, extract them to the pen drive used for installation. Right-click on the file, choose Extract All and click Extract. After that, copy the folders to the installation pen drive. In the Windows Setup menu, at the stage where you need to choose where to install the operating system, click on the Load Driver option. Click OK, click OK again, then choose Browse and look for the required folder. Select Intel RSTVMD and click OK. When the driver is installed, the hard disks will be displayed correctly. If this method couldn't fix the problem, you can disable Intel Volume Management Device. However, you need to remember that turning off the VMD feature prevents your computer from being able to use any RAID systems. To turn VMD off, enter BIOS. Most of the time you need to press the F2 key to access BIOS when you start to boot your computer. When you're in BIOS, press the F7 key or click on the Advanced Node tab. In the Advanced menu, choose VMD Setup menu. For the option Enable VMD Controller, select Disabled. Click OK. After that, save the configuration and exit the settings by pressing the F10 key and choosing OK. This will make the computer restart. Then you can continue with the installation. These are the most widespread errors people encounter when installing Windows 11. In theory, there may be other errors related to specific equipment or conditions of a particular computer. If you know any of them, be sure to leave a comment under this video.